Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back showing a new fun deck of the new set with the Magic Stone Zero. Uh, this set's wild. It's yeah. got so much stuff in it. We're only just barely delving into it right now. I'm just showing like the easy mechanics of the rulers first and then we're going to delve into all the craziness. Exactly. And, and this is not a turn two kill. This is actually a, <laughs> yeah. you know, a friendly good, good deck. Yeah. But before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll see our uh, FOW Grimoire app. It is our, our deck builder slash database that we made for Force of Will. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback on how amazing it is. We, we actually really like it. It took us a lot of bickering about it to figure out what we wanted for it. And we got there finally. And it's, it's come out pretty well and everybody loves it. So go check it out. Um, and then the final thing, guys, just hit that subscribe button for us. Get us to a thousand. We're so close. We just that's, yeah. All we need is like fifty or sixty. So just get us there, man. Come on. Please, please. Like we we've been doing this for a couple of years, and we're not being sponsored or anything most of the time. And we just want to be YouTube affiliated, and then we'll be able to actually promote our name more throughout the community. All right. With that, we're gonna delve into Hero to Zero. Yes. So we're playing Almerius and Zero. Those are our two rulers. First up is Almerius. Um, it is the one of the light rulers of the set. She judges for two the white and a one. She's got the six sage tag, so you can have two double here, double sages, um, but they have to be the sages. And then she says, if you would start the, your starting life, set that life plus three thousand instead. Which so you essentially bonkers. start at seven thousand, which is insane. And then you may pay one less to do judges or rulers you control, and tap target J resonator gains plus two plus two until the end of turn. She's super strong. She's probably one of the strongest of the six stage rulers just because she does so much for you just on her front side. Because she, A, you start at 7,000, so you get way more life than anyone else. Yeah. And you can save most of your dudes from kill spells or burn spells or just damage in general. <laughs> and then when she judgments, she's a 6 8 with flying. Enter, put target light non chant or light alternative card or non chant part from the graveyard into the field. So essentially, you get a free dude back or some card into the graveyard or from the graveyard to play and then pay a white J resonates you control get plus two plus two until the turn so she can pump all your dudes and give you free thing from the graveyard yeah well essentially is well even better than fire breathing but you can just keep doing it it's open-ended you don't have to tap her or anything the next one of course is zero the apprentice sage uh judgments for one white also a six age tag ruler and with this you cannot do a judgment of this card unless your other ruler is astral so the other one has to die, so which is pretty crazy. But the back side is, you know, makes up for it. So at the beginning of the game, put four 1-1 counters on each ruler you control. Your J ruler gains barrier, which is insane. Tap, per, uh, tap put two 1-1 counters on this card. So you're just basically doing a Voltron of itself the whole time. Now, with this, uh, when you do flip, it becomes at 8-8. Uh, enter, destroy all other J slash resonators. So it's basic, and it has barrier, so therefore it's just a big protected lady. Yeah, she she literally is just a huge thing that just clears the board. Yeah. So it, you're like, cool, flip, I'm gonna kill everything and have just a big person. Yeah, and then I'll just kill you next turn. Yeah. All right, so starting into the deck, we have a, quite a few alternative cards. The first one is Flute, Captive, Dragonoid, Child, slash Group of Comets. Uh, Flute is one white for a one four. And then she's got barrier, tap, produce a white, uh, tap, put a 1-1 counter on another entity you control. So she just helps you give free counters out to what you want, which is what we're doing. Yep. And then the chance side is three white and one, destroy all J resonators with no 1-1 counters on them. So it's another board wipe because you need board wipes. <laughs> and with everything going crazy right now, board wipes are really, really helpful. Yeah, for sure. The next one is Exorcist Mage of the Academy. It's one white, four, four, quick cast. This card gains barrier as long as there's a 1-1 counter on it, which can easily happen. If a J-Ruler would be put in the field without being played from the hand, remove it from the game instead. So no reanimator, no no fun stuff. Next is Shifon, Spirit of Guidance. It is one white and one for a 6-6 six, six flying with awakening of rest of recovered light ruler you control. Enter, destroy target non-magic stone into the your opponent controls. This card's insane. <laughs> Very good. Two mana, six, six flyer that can just destroy whatever you want it to. That's not a stone. Uh, cool. Great. Thanks. I think I will take that. Yeah. Next one is Guardian Wizard. It's a six, six for two white. <clears throat> so prevent all non-battle damage that would be dealt to J resonators. You control all of them, not just him. And then whenever your opponent plays a 
Awaken spell. J resonators, you control gain barrier until end of turn. <laughs> That's super good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so strong how it does just silly things because they don't have to play the awakening part of it. It just plays an awakening spell. I'm done. Uh, next is Sumeria, Summoner of Spirits and Dance of Spirits. You're playing this for one part of this card, really, but if you need to use yeah. the creature, you can. So Sumeria is a two white for a 510. It's still pretty good. Flying. Tap, remove X counters from this card, put an X, X Light Spirit into play where X is the number of counters that was on it. So you're like, cool, I get this many, I get the big dude. Yeah, you're gonna kill her, then we're gonna have a bunch of small ones. Yeah. And then the chant part is Dance of Spirits, which is two white. A quick cast, your opponent cannot play spells this turn. So that's what's probably gonna be played because that card's nuts. You're like, cool, your turn, don't do anything. Yeah, don't. Beginning of your turn, don't do anything. Now I get to <clears throat> go, thanks. The next one, of course, is Rhea, Spawn of the Star, slash, slash, uh, was it Twinkle of the Star? The resonator part, of course, is two white will, seven, seven. Whenever a one, one counter is put on this card, choose one. This card deals damage equal to its attack to target a J slash resonator, which is super powerful. And then, you, or you can gain life equal to the card's defense, just in case you need to. And the, chap, the chant part is quick cast, double the one, one counters on each magic stone and light entity you control, which might not come into play but you know might be able to win as well also on this Rhea, the top part it just says equal to their defense slash their attack so you can tap Amarius to give him plus two plus two just to give that free extra little bit yeah that's cool. super thanks super good uh next is grace of the star it is one white for a quick cast chant with remnant target resonated against plus four plus four until the end of turn if there's a one one counter on it it also gains eternal and barrier yep so we're just going to be protecting your dudes because that's what this deck needs to be doing so good waking of zero it's a one white chant quick cast j resonators you control gain eternal until end of turn if this was awakened put 10 one one counters on the card named zero apprentice saga or sage you control awakening rest or recovered card named zero so there you go you can just do that it gets 10 one one counters and each time you do this it just gets bigger so the thing about this card that's nuts is you can do this and then judgment zero if you have your other ruler astral and you don't lose your dudes because <laughs> you're like cool my dudes are eternal kill all the board great that's super cute uh next is awakening of almarius it is two white for a quick cast destroy target non-spirit resonator if this card is awakened destroy all non-spirit resonators instead awakening is one white and one and rest a recovered uh card name almarius again we have multiple ways to keep your dudes and give them eternal. So you play that and you play this and kill the board. Yep. And you uh, for a third, fourth time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Starlight Canopy. It's a two white addition. Enter. Remove a target non-magic stone, non-J ruler entity you control with total cost three or less from the game. And then whenever one or more one one counters are put on this card, draw a card. It's so powerful. So good. Yeah. Too many. Remove a thing. Get free card draw. Yeah. All day. Thanks. Uh, next is a duet of light. It is two white for a uh, chant. Choose one, you may choose an additional one for each recovered J resonate you control, J rule you control. You gain 2,000 life, put target non magic stone, non chant card, alternate card with total cost three or less from your graveyard into the field. You may play only the non chant part of the alternate card. So you get the creature, is essentially what it says, yep. but it has to be three or less. And then, or put four woman counters on each J resonate you control. So this card is nuts, and the way you do it is you read it top down, so you can essentially get the Rhea and put her in play and then get four counters on her to trigger her ability, which is kind of nuts. Oh, cute. And 2000 life is nothing to scoff at for two yeah. wide. Yeah, sure. Just, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll go ahead and almost go half my starting life total or your starting life total. Mine is way <laughs> yeah. better. That is it for the deck. The deck's super simple. Uh, the stones were playing the magic stone of the six stages because it, it does just as awesome for what you do and it helps you recover your ruler. Yep. And then light magic stones because we're just playing mono white. And we don't really do sideboards anymore, but we do have honorable mentions. And the only real honorable mention I want to talk about is Perry, which we all thought this card was terrible and it really pretty much is, <laughs> except for it now kind of has a use, kind of. So one white for Perry. Chant, quick cast, prevent all damage that would be dealt by target chant spell or ability until the turn, draw a card. So the other card that's right now running around that can be doing a lot is infinite matchsticks. Yeah. This is not a complete counter because you they just it just gives you a turn, but it My, still kind of helps because you're like, cool, no, I don't die. Yeah. It might be enough for sure. Yeah. I kind of wish this reflected the damage back, but that would be nuts. But be... it's already pretty good for what it is, and this card was terrible when we first saw it. 
and it's still not like great but it is a way to help fight that deck yeah um but that is it guys for the deck the deck list will be down below it's gonna be super fun to play it's gonna be wild to see what it does and uh, we'll see y'all again next time goodbye later also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos and we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years especially our mythic and above patreon followers thank you ryan uh with that we love you thank you for your support